Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back for part two of A Diary of a Pumpkin. If you remember, in part one, the last date was May 5th. Now we have June 15th, more than one month later. Let's see how much the pumpkin has grown. Let's look at the pictures. Here we have the young girl watering her pumpkins. And we can see there are some more green plants there. Here is a picture of a green plant. And here we have a drawing. A snail on a stem with a very big green leaf. Let's read this story. Do you have your reading glasses on? My pumpkin plants are growing fast now. This means they're growing very quickly. Whoop, they're getting big very quickly. The big leaves soak up the sun. Here is a big leaf and they soak up the sun. Soak up, it's a difficult word. Let me explain something differently to you. If you have a towel and you pour water on the towel, will the water fall to the ground? No. The towel soaks up the water collects, gathers, absorbs, soak up. So the leaves soak up the sun. They love the sun. And the stems are prickly, prickly. Hmm. Now, the opposite of prickly would be smooth, smooth skin. Sometimes men have prickly skin here, okay? Prickly. You can see right here, these little bumps make this stem prickly. And the snail is trying to climb up this prickly stem. Why? Why is this snail here? Maybe we can find out the answer here. The prickly stems help stop, stop the snail from crawling up to eat the leaves. So the snail wants to, wants to eat this leaf. But the pumpkin doesn't want that. So the pumpkin plant grows prickly stems. Okay, let's see what happens next. Now, July 9th, about one month later. Here we can see a beautiful flower. Big flowers are growing on my pumpkin plants now. What color is this flower? Very good, yellow. What is this? This is a bee. Bees visit the flowers. Without bees, there would not be pumpkins. Okay, so you can see this beautiful flower growing from the stem. And if you look very closely, you can see the prickly stem. Here, a very tiny baby pumpkin. Okay. And this is the pumpkin life cycle. This is the changes the pumpkin goes through. Let's take a closer look. Just a minute. We picked some of the flowers. Picked. Picked has many different meanings. Picked means to choose. I pick you to be on my team. This a little bit different. 
This means to harvest. So to pick plants or to pick vegetables or to pick fruit means to harvest, to gather. Grandad, or remember the Korean word for granddad, harabarji, harabarji, said that would help me get bigger pumpkins. So the little girl takes the flowers off and maybe now the pumpkin will get bigger and bigger. Let's look at the pumpkin life cycle. The pumpkins start here. The first one as seeds or siat, siat. Then they grow into kind of like a plant, a beautiful green plant with big leaves that soak up the sun to get even bigger. Then we have some beautiful flowers. Do you remember the color of these flowers? Red? Blue? Orange? No. What is orange? Do you remember from the very first page what was orange? Hobak or pumpkin. The pumpkin was orange. But these flowers are yellow. Yellow. And then this gets bigger and bigger. Is this a big pumpkin yet? What color is that pumpkin? This one. This is a green pumpkin. And finally, it turns into a orange pumpkin or a ripe pumpkin. Let's see if we're correct. Pumpkin seeds, pumpkin plant, flower on a pumpkin, very good. A growing pumpkin, it's green, and finally a ripe pumpkin. Now this pumpkin means, ripe means it's able to be eaten. If you want, you can eat that pumpkin. If you try to eat this pumpkin, it will not taste good. So you always want to eat ripe pumpkin vegetables, and ripe fruit. Ripe means mature or ready to be eaten. Grandad drew this diagram. It shows the stages of a pumpkin's growth. So this is a diagram. It shows you the stages or the steps. One, two, three, four, five. In this diagram, there are five stages of the pumpkin's growth. Let's look at the next page. Now we have <clears throat> July 14th, a couple of days later. It is hot weather now. The sun is there. My pumpkin flowers have turned into green pumpkins right here. Lots of sun and lots of water. What is this called? A watering can. Is this a ripe pumpkin? Hmm, no. Do you remember what color a ripe pumpkin is? from our diagram? Very good. In our diagram, a ripe pumpkin is orange, not green. This is a growing pumpkin. I water my plants every day. The water helps the pumpkins grow bigger. Is this a big pumpkin? about this. Is this a big pumpkin? Can 
Can you imagine having a pumpkin this big, bigger than you? It could be possible. Let's find out. On this day, it is August 4th, the next month. And it looks like in August, it is very sunny. In the month of August, how is the weather where you live? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is it hot? Is it warm? Is it cold? Here, I think it is sunny and hot. What is the little girl going to do? I am going on vacation today. Granddad is going to take care of my pumpkins. The little girl is leaving. Where is she going? We don't know. She is going on a trip someplace, which means she cannot take care of her pumpkins. What does she need to do? She needs to water her pumpkins. So she asked Granddad to do it. If a pumpkin has no water, what happens? The pumpkins will die. She even wrote a little note here for Granddad. Let's see what it says. Note to Granddad. Please remember to water the plants in the morning and at night. So how many times does Granddad have to water the pumpkin plants? Just once? Two times? Three times? Four, five, six? Granddad has to water the pumpkin seeds or the pumpkin plant two times, in the morning and at night. And then the pumpkins will continue to grow. And hopefully there is plenty of sunlight. Remember, the pumpkins need sun and water. We finished studying part two. I'll see you again very soon for part three. Goodbye.